Hey, what's happening? This is Snake Sable from Skid Row, and you are watching Chaos TV. Okay, so hello everyone. Chaos TV is today here at my hometown in Vasa, Finland, and we have the pleasure to talk with Snake from Skid Row. So first of all, hello and welcome to Finland, man, once Thank again. You. I love being here, man. I kid you not. I love being here. It's such a beautiful country. People are always great to us. We always are, are like everyone just welcomes us and are so kind to us. So uh, whenever I see it on the itinerary that we're coming back to this area of the world, I'm, uh, we all are very excited about it. So thank you for having us. I guess it's also easy for bands because people speak fairly well English. So it's quite easy for you to be here. Speak better English than I do, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I make a mockery of the language. You guys say it with, you know, uh, uh, the way it's supposed to be spoken. So yeah, it does make it easier. So in general, how has the summer been so far for you and the band? You just came from Download, so how was that? <laughs> Download was such a trip, man. Um, that's our fourth time doing Download. I mean, we were doing it back when it was, you know, Monsters of Rock. And first first year we did was 1992. Then we did 95, then we did 2014, and then yesterday. <laughs> okay, so there was actually quite a big gap like between the 92 and, and 2000 something. Yeah, it was, uh, well, let's do the math, what was it, 19 years? So yeah, it yeah. was pretty incredible that after all that time we get to go back and do it. And um, yesterday was particularly special. Uh, it's our first time doing it with ZP singing in the band and, and he did, he was, he did a great job. and. You know, those things are not only the historic, um, they also, it's such a great place to see all your peers, your friends from other bands. And, and even though we're all, you know, uh, competitive, you know, it's still great to, to see, you know, all these other great bands, you know, uh, from Def Leppard, who is, you know, one of my all time favorites, and White Snake as well, and Rob Zombie, and and all the great guitar players that are there too. For me, that's something that's really special to be able to meet a lot of people that I admire and, and I look up to. And so um, it's not, it's really the most important part of the day is that time that you're on the stage, but there's so much more that goes along with it. And such a, it's, it's called a festival because it is very festive, you know? Yeah. So obviously, you just signed a new record deal yes. with Golden Robot Records. So how did you actually end up signing with them? We uh, uh, have been friends with a gentleman by the name of Derek Shulman for... I've known him since 1984 when he signed okay. Bon Jovi. Uh, he signed Bon Jovi and signed Cinderella. Uh, signed Pantera to Echo Records. Um, okay. And he's been a friend and we always threatened each other that we'd work with one another one day. And uh, he got involved with Golden Robot, got in contact with Rachel and I, and Rachel and I sat with them and talked about how, you know, how they like to do things or how they are, are, are going to do things, how they're gonna roll, you know, our record out or and sort of the, what the spirit and the mantra of the company is and, um, it was really, it was cool because it's kind of a mixture of old school and, and, and new school. And, you know, in, in this day and age, it's, we, we deliver and receive music in such a different way than we did even five, ten years ago. And so, you know, you have to adjust to that. The future is right in front of you and the past is in the rear of your mirror and you have to make adjustments. And, and, um, and but yet there's still you also have to uh, uh, satisfy those out there who still want, you know, the 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 physical product, the vinyl or the CDs and stuff. So that's a that's a tough act to balance for a lot. I think a lot of companies. But um, I myself, I'm like I'm a big fan of streaming, and so um, I, I embrace that. I embrace the uh, the new technology and how music is primarily delivered, and and it's pretty incredible that. Um, I, I, I read a lot about it and there's a lot of people make good points for and against streaming and how little or not enough artists are being paid. Uh, and, and there's a lot of good arguments about that. Of course, we always want to get paid more, but we, 
we were all we want to get paid fairly is what it is really what it comes down to and i think that we're close but i think that working with this with golden robot working with derek and and this gentleman mark who is uh the owner of the company their vision is very much in 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 sync with what we want to do as well okay. so our the spirit is 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 there and the soul is there and so let's hope that um that we can get it out there to as many people as possible and then it's up to them you know and if they buy it great and if they don't like it then then nothing we can do all we can do is put forth our best work which is what we're doing and we're just about done with the record okay um, so you have still have something to do with that or is yeah, it already we're, done we're uh we're we've been recording in nashville michael wagner yes. and uh and it's just he's such a phenomenal person he did your first two albums yeah and he's he's a family member he's like he's great and he's one of us and he has an incredible ability to bring the very very best out of out of us i don't know how he works with other bands but with with our band he's always managed to bring the very best out obviously of us. he has done your like most well-known album slave yeah. to the grind yeah and he's and he's so much fun to work with and and it's always a great learning experience and That's not to say that every day is, you know, sunshine and, and smiley faces. You know, we, we, we go at it every once in a while, you yeah, know. Yeah, but I guess you need that to get the best result out. I think so. I think that because if everybody's goal is the same, where, you know, like we're here to make the best record possible, then how we get there is not as important as getting there. So, but you also used like some kind of like outside writers for that. Sure, the we wanted to. Rachel and I wanted to um, work with other people together with other people, just to learn and just to gain broaden our our scope and and gain experience. When um, did you actually started doing this? Because I guess originally the album was supposed to come out like in 2015 or 16 or we, something, well, and now you and then you had some like vocalist changes, so that yeah. kind of got it delayed. But yeah. have you been doing the album like during this whole time or? No, we haven't. We we went through the period of of you know. Uh, Johnny uh, was let go from the band. We had Tony in for a brief period of time, and then it was like, oh man, it didn't work out very well, obviously. And so we we called Z up, and and we were very guarded because of, of what we just went through. We were like, you know, yes. And uh, but he came in. And he's been he's been great, and there hasn't been we haven't had any complaints, no arguments, nothing like that. And so we wanted to make sure that when we went in to do this record that we were really really prepared and that we had written our like the best possible material that we could come up with at this particular time so and did so you far, actually had to rewrite some of the songs because you have those like vocalist changes no no because we we didn't even we had nothing worked out with with uh any of the old singers okay so it was we weren't even thinking in terms of that at that particular time um We just want to get stability, you know, yeah. some stability and, and have it be fun. And uh, and so we got it. And now we're, we're pushing forward. But the thing is, is that it's, again, things are so much different. It used to be you write the record, you go in pre-production for a few weeks, and then you go in and record the record, then you go on tour for a year or two. And it's just not like that for us anymore. It's like we have to... We did a month of recording, and then we go out and we do a bunch of shows that are booked because we book shows, you know, six to eight months in advance. So, and then we go back. Okay, we have a block of time here. Let's go back in the studio again. Oh, we got to go back out and do more do shows. Do you feel that that's a good way for you to work, or or, um, or or would it be better to kind of like focus on that and get like it done it. and then go to the next phase? I like it. In all, I mean, to be completely honest, I like it the old way of 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 you know, okay, writing a record. And then you know, going in pre-production, and then going in recording. But I will say, um, going like like we like a, we did a month of recording, and then went out and did more shows, and then came back. And then when we came back to it, it was really exciting to listen to what we had done, to be able to step away from it for a little while, and then to listen to what we had done. And it was like, wow, there's some really really good stuff here, like. It 
I think it's better than I thought it was, you know? And so that... Okay, so the reaction was good. Yeah, it was. And, and there so was... It, it, it wasn't like that, that, oh, now we need no, to no, rewrite no, no, no. this whole no, thing. No, no, no. <laughs> no, but we did, we did... But we, that, that's something that could happen sure. also. And, but we, and we, did do, we, we, we did come up with stuff when we came back that we thought would make the songs, some of the songs better. And um, again, we're, we're afforded... We're not in, under the gun. We're not in any rush. So that's great. We're not getting pressure from anybody. It's just a, it's a case of, let's just make the best Skid Row album that we possibly can, and uh, we have the time to do it. So it's fun. I guess that's a blessed situation yeah, for an very artist. Very much so. Very much so. Because it just allows you to be you. You know, yeah. and I think that we're we're far along enough in our careers where we're not going to just sit there and and keep attempting to reinvent the wheel. You know, we'll. We'll know when this record's done, and it's pretty close. Okay. Yeah. So obviously, I I guess you are aware that your debut album actually turned like 30 years yeah, this year. Yeah, I know. How crazy is that? So what kind of like actual memories do you have when it comes to that album? I have very fond memories. I it was, we were a, five kids, literally, you know, young men, barely, uh, barely <laughs> men, um, but we were just we were so innocent, and, and I think everybody who has a, a similar experience like us with their first record doing is what it did kind of have the same story you know we we all came from lower middle class very working class backgrounds and so we were we were up for the fight man we were up for for the work we we worked hard and still do but we were we really really worked and Uh, we worked hard at the songs. We worked hard at building a following. We worked hard on performing, and we were blessed with the with uh, um, sort of a, all these wonderful things just sort of colliding at the same time. And lo and behold, the record connected with a lot of people, and we happened to be writing songs that people could relate to, and they saw themselves in in these songs. And you can't plan that, you know, you, you can't predict that, you can't plan it, you can only hope for it. And that's what we did. But we felt, we felt that we were, um, first of all, we were very humbled by the fact that we were just able to be making a record. Of course. And we all we cared about, in all honesty, was we just wanted to sell enough records to be able to make another one. Okay. That's really where we were at. And we we would... You know, we were going to tour for as long as we needed to tour, which we did. We toured 17 months, you know. Um, and that just, that was because we're hard workers. And we wanted to be a global band. And, and a lot of a lot of people might have just stuck in, in the United States and Canada and, and because the record was exploding so much there. But we luckily we were with you know our management company was smart enough to know like it's a really big world out there let's go see it you know yeah, yeah. and that's what we did and and so you know eighty nine we we did the Moscow Music Peace Festival and we did Milton Keynes and uh, I mean we toured everywhere Australia New Zealand uh, Japan twice uh, Europe twice um, so it was. Uh, such a, an amazing time like I, I i look back on it with fondness i mean there's you know there's two guys that were part of the band that aren't in the band anymore it doesn't mean that i have you know like i look at that angrily or anything like yeah, that yeah, yeah. i'm very proud of what we all what the five of us did together in that time so obviously quite a lot of bands have played through like their classic albums recently so what's your take on that Do, I think would, would you see Skid Row doing something similar? I actually saw that Sebastian is doing some kind of like US run to play through the debut album. Yeah. So what do you think about the whole idea yourself? Oh, you know what? I want to play. I, I, I and that's cool. Like I, I understand. Like I saw uh, a bunch of years ago, probably ten years ago, uh, Metallica do the Master of Puppets record, you know, from start to finish, and it was brilliant. It really was. Um, Obviously, if there's like a milestone album, I, I saw like Among the Living from Anthrax, and oh, that was a great show. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. I think at some point we would probably do that. It's funny we've talked about it, but we've never like really pushed forward into it. And I think just because I think we just we want to play 
throughout the whole history of the band. And, so and we're, you, we're you not prefer yourself like thinking a bit more like forward than going oh, to mean, backwards. I don't even look at it as going backwards. It's just for for us, for just let's just say for me on stage. I like experiencing the whole history of the band, okay. and uh, but I would be I would so be up for doing you know Slave to the Grind or 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 the first record in its entirety. That'd be fun. Okay. Yeah, it'd be a lot of fun. Okay. So did you actually saw that Sebastian kind of sent you an open invitation to join <laughs> you to play some shows? Well, yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your take on that? I'm I uh, I'm working with my band. <laughs> okay. okay, so oh, so that's that's something that you don't see no. the future. Oh, okay, no. okay. No. I, I just this is this is Skid Row, and this yeah, is yeah. this is what I do. So okay, so in the end, a bit about the future. So what kind of like actual plans do you guys have? We look the album will be coming out first quarter of next year. Oh, okay. So not in the we fall of this year. We have a lot of, of touring year. left to do this year. So we're just gonna say, you know what? Let's just say the first quarter of next year. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And if it comes out sooner, great. But I figure, you know what? Give us enough. Give us give us enough rope to hang ourselves with. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so what will happen after that? Tour, touring, just touring, the same touring, 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 touring. We're writing a lot more too, and the whole thing with uh, you had touched upon it before with us writing with other people, that's opened up. Um, open both Rachel and I up a lot more too. So we're going to uh, we're gonna continue doing that. Like the two of us will just get together with whomever we can because it's a great learning experience. Okay, so you would, that was like such a good experience that you it would do it more. It, oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And the funny thing is, is that we've written with other people in the past. It's just that it, it, it not a lot, but we have. Okay. It just never made it onto a record. And we, but this time we've written with more people because we we both you know we've we know each other so well we've you know we've been playing together for 34 years now and and writing together for that amount of time and so um there's so many people that we admire out there that we want we want to pick their brains and see what they have to offer and how they can help us grow as songwriters you know It's but, but you wouldn't see them playing on your albums having like guest a Appearances. You I mean, don't I'm, see well, it like that way. It, it's not. It's not. It might actually. I shouldn't say no. It <laughs> might happen this record actually because we have talked about. Okay. We want to do one thing, and it's it's more of a personal thing for us than it is anything. We're um, so we're seeing. We're we're trying to make something happen. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So hey, thank you thank a you lot for the chat and yeah. all the, all the best for the future. Anything you, you want to say as last words to all the Finnish fans? Um, I just that we're we're so thankful that after all this time. We still get to come over to your amazing country and and play Skid Row music, and it's very humbling, and it's a privilege to be here. So thank you.